Hi friends, Stephanie here and I'm back with more movie chatter. And what I have for you today is another of my favorites of 2023 list and we're going to probably be doing these through the end of the week. Um, maybe into next weekend. We'll see what happens. But um, what I have for you today are my favorite steelbooks of 2023. Now, I know not everyone is into steelbooks. They can be temperamental. They're hard to maintain. They nick and they ding and they scratch on the shelves sometimes if they're not taken care of. They don't ship well, but uh, if shipped properly or picked up in a store, they can be beautiful pieces of art. And these are all about the art for me. And I'll tell you, the thing that got me back into steelbooks, because in my own head, I was out of the game. And then Lionsgate came along and started hitting it out of the park and I got roped right back in. So I have some from the United States, some from the UK, some from Germany, and I think I even have one from Hong Kong in here. So I'm going to start with a Lionsgate title. And this is one that was recently released. And I think I even shared it in a recent video. And it is the Young Guns steelbook from Lionsgate with the beautiful wanted poster on the front with Emilio Estevez there and then on the back we have the rest of the crew very cool images and Lionsgate is known for these really neat slip uh, slip covers that come off and reveal a different image so you have this really cool image on the front and I love the color scheme they went with and it opens up to the front back and spine so really, really nice overall uh, artwork. And then as a little added touch, they did something they haven't done and they added in these little art cards of all the main guys, which is very neat. And it just gives the release a little bit more of a collector feel to it. So I'm hoping that in the future, you know, going forward, I hope that they continue to do little things like that because just those little extra touches really give the, the release a whole different feel. So the next one, again, another Lionsgate one, and I, not everyone liked this one, but I loved everything about this release in general, and I'm going to talk about the slipcover release um, in another video this week, but I thought this was a really beautiful steelbook and represents the movie well, and that is The Mist. It's The Mist steelbook, and you have this really cool cover, and when you lift it up, what it reveals are the people in the store, and if you know the movie, you know the significance of the artwork. And you open it up to the front, back, and spine. It's just a really great image. And it's a four disc set. And it has four different discs. And just really, really nice artwork. And I'll show you up close here. It's a, a food store. So, of course, you're going to have meat <laughs> as your uh, artwork. But I just think they did a really beautiful job on this steelbook. And... Like I said, I know not everybody liked it, but that's the thing about art. It's subjective and everybody's going to like what they like. So I don't know. This one had to be on my list for uh, 2023. And if you are so inclined, here is a digital copy for The Mist. If anyone wants to download it, first come, first serve, have at it. Tis the season. Now, my next two, I, I couldn't decide which one I liked more, so it's a tie. I'm kind of leaning towards the Lionsgate one, but... I love this movie so much that I had to include both. And the first one is the Studio Canal Steelbook release for The Wicker Man. This is their 4K release. And I just love that imagery. I love the colors that they chose. And then you have your back artwork. I just think they did a fantastic job on this release. And that's the front, back, and spine. The oranges, the purple the yellow. I think it all just works. The inside's a little bit plain, but it is a four disc release. And Studio Canal is also responsible. So this is the Studio Canal release. Studio Canal is also responsible for the transfer on the Lionsgate release. So the Lionsgate steelbook would be my second one. And I think I just really love this artwork. It is absolutely beautiful. You take off the slipcover and it reveals this gorgeous image inside absolutely stunning and if you know the movie you understand the significance of the artwork which is usually the case with all of these i'm going to save that then you have your front back and spine just gorgeous and then we have some disc art and this image over here if you know you know but the wicker man is one of my it is one of my top folk movies folk horror movies of all time i just think it's amazing so I was happy to see those get a proper release. And here we go, digital, if anyone wants it, for the Wicker Man, digital code. Have at it. There you go. 
And this next one, I enjoyed the movie, but I think I like the Steelbook even more than the movie. And it is the, um, who is this from? This is from Universal. And it is the Steelbook for Megan. I think it is such a cool release. I think they did a great job with it. It was hard to find one that wasn't scratched up. It was very difficult. And then on the back, we have the specs for the Megan doll, which is very cool. So again, if you know the movie, you'll understand the significance of the artwork. And then the inside is really very nice too. So Megan had to be on my list. Uh, and I think I have, yes I do. I have a digital code for Megan if anyone wants that. I think that might be it for digital codes, but if you want it, take it, enjoy it. All right, so let's do, this one is a German one. I just got this one in today and I absolutely love it. It is a German release for Pearl. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. The artwork is gorgeous. It has some, it's a matte finish with some spot gloss. There's an image of her with the ax here. Her earrings are spot gloss. And then you have the back image, which is just beautiful. And I, I mean, this is, this is a winner, this steelbook. I had to get a copy of this front, back and spine together. Hopefully it can see that nicely. You get some disc art, which is nice, but I want to show you this inside artwork. If you know, you know. But I really love this movie. I think Pearl is such a great movie. Pearl and X together uh, are great, and I'm really looking forward to Maxine. And again, I know not everyone loved the Pearl and X combo, but I, I thought it was great. So I was so happy to be able to get my hands on this one. Really, really beautiful steelbook. And uh, let's go with another one. This is another Amer American release. This came from Shout Factory, and I was not going to get this, but it looks, I'm glad I did because it looks so much better in person and it is the new steelbook for Point Break. Really, really nice looking steelbook. And on the back, we have all the presidents. And again, you know the movie, so you know why they're important. Front, back, and spine. And then we have a little bit of, a uh, little bit of art inside, but just a really, really beautiful steelbook. And I was shocked when this came in, how much nicer it looked in person than on the website. This one's a UK release and I just, I love it. I love the movie and I love the steelbook and it is for the Maltese Falcon. Really, really nice image on the front. And it's all, it's all embossed and stuff here. And then on the back, they did a really cool thing with the door. So you have, it looks like you're looking through the door and it's really, really neat. So here's your front, back and spine. Looking really good. And then you have some great in, inside artwork, which I love. So yeah, don't sleep on the UK releases because there are some really beautiful UK releases that come out. And people ask about the little, the little dots, little stickers that come on the front. They peel right off. So if you get a UK steelbook, you can just gently just peel them right off. No damage to the steelbook whatsoever. Uh, here's another UK steelbook that I love. Uh, we, we didn't get one in the United States. I wish we would. I, hopefully we will. And it is for the color purple. And this one also made my list of favorite 4K transfers in the last video. So beautiful artwork. And it just looks great. And there's the front, back, and spine. And then you do get also interior art, which is gorgeous. And if you've seen the movie, like I said, you know, you know. Now, I am not one who usually, I like uh, Screen Factory Steelbooks, but they're not usually at the top of my list. I'm not gonna take this one out of the bag because I think the front just says it all. I had to, Pumpkinhead, look at that. It is beautiful what they did with that image. I love that Pumpkinhead just takes up the whole front of the Steelbook and it just kind of says it all. And then we have a back image, but it's really, Honestly, it's all about the front artwork for me. I love, love, love this release. And then this one is a newer one. This is another one. I don't usually go for the Mill Creek Seal books, but I think they nailed it on this one. And I love the movie and it's the Lords of Dogtown. Really beautiful image on the front. It has a little bit of spot gloss by like by the skateboard wheels and whatnot. And then a great image of the pier on the back. If you haven't seen this movie, please watch it. It's so good. It's great. And also the uh, the documentary that inspired this movie is fantastic too. So there's a front, back, and spine. And then they have the uh, 
the disc art is actually a skateboard wheel, which I think is a nice little touch. But yeah, Mill Creek really nailed it on the uh, Lords of Dogtown. So this one definitely had to be on my list. Now, this is a German one. Comes in a slip case. It's a side loader slip box. And it is a uh, Renfield. So you have the front of the slip box, the back. I think it says World Domination. But this was a fun, fun movie. If you like horror comedies, definitely check this out. And then we have the Steelbook comes out. And we have good old Nick Cage on the front there, which I love. And then we have Renfield on the back. And it is such a cool steelbook. I love everything about it. This one, uh, Diabolic, might be getting more of these in if you're interested. So that's the front, back, and spine. I love it. And then we get some cool disc art on the inside, which disc art is always a nice little added touch. So Renfield, uh, the German release, definitely had to make my uh, tops of 2023. And then let's see, this, is, this one is from Nova Media. And I still have the wrapping on the front, but I'm going to show you the steelbook. It's a lenticular. It came out this year. It's for everything, everywhere, all at once. It's a lenticular front of the of the box here. It is one I have. Uh, it's limited to 1700. I have number 682. And then on the back, the eye. But then the steelbook is just, it's gorgeous. And this is all embossed and debossed. The front is amazing. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. And then we have the back. I mean, anyone who's a fan of this movie, this was like a must have for me. So the front, back and spine together are absolutely gorgeous. And then we have some cards and whatnot and some artwork inside that I haven't opened yet. But this was definitely one that was high on my on my list to get and I did not import it from Nova Media. Um, Diabolic DVD actually got a handful of these in and I was lucky enough to go on that day and grab one. Another one that I grabbed was, this is another box, a little box set and it is for Hannibal. I think I got this one from Orbit. I'll take the steelbook out and show you. The steelbook is beautiful. So on the front we have the image of Hannibal Lecter it is a gorgeous, gorgeous steelbook. And then on the back, we have the scene of him carrying Clarice out of the barn. And again, if you've seen the movie, you understand the significance. And the dinner scene, which again, if you've seen the movie, you already know why that is so important. But this is a beautiful, beautiful steelbook. I love it. And what else? Uh, this one I also grabbed from Orbit. This was another one. It's uh, It came from outer space. It's another one of the slip boxes. So I love the front and the back too. But I'll show you the steel book. I may have unboxed this at some point. I can't remember. But I love this steel book art. I love the colors that they went with. And it has such a retro feel. And it has really... Uh, great representation of the movie. I think the artwork really represents the movie. Here you go. Here's the front, which is just gorgeous. I love the color scheme. And then the back. Check out the back. All the detail they put in the back. It's just beautiful. I had to include this on my list because I just... It's all about the art with these, and I just think they nailed it with this. So there's the front, back, and spine. And then you do have some interior artwork. There is some underneath the disc. You get disc art. And then we have artwork on the inside, which is just gorgeous. So everything about this steelbook, I just really liked it. And I liked how it just, it really felt like it belonged with the movie, which is perfect. And that's one of the most important things when I'm trying to decide about my favorites here. And then I have just two more. One, we got all the Rocky films on 4K. I know not everybody was thrilled with the 4K, but I think I just grabbed the original Rocky. This is the UK version. And I just, I just love that image. I love Rocky. I love that they went with the black, the white, and the red. And then we have the iconic scene of him up on the top of the, uh, I guess it's a library that he runs up the stairs in Philadelphia. It's such an amazing, iconic image. So powerful. And then we have the front, back, and spine. You can't go wrong with Rocky. And then we have him and Apollo on the inside. 
I mean, I just, I, I really, I love all the Rocky Steelbooks. I know not all, we only got four, but I still think they all look really good. And I love that they stayed with the black, um, black, white, and red color scheme. I think it looks great. Now, here's the steelbook that got me demonetized last time, so we're going to see if I can pull it off. And it's a slip box, so I'm just going to do it real quick so they don't see it. But I love this. I think this is such a cool uh, steelbook. And we did get an American release of this as well, and it's Violent Night. I love it. I think the image is perfect. I love that we have embossing, and we have like the picture frame type thing, and the the title's all embossed, and I love the image of Santa there on the front. And then we have the back so if I get demonetized it's because of this so we'll see what happens and then this is the UK release so you have interior artwork and then you have some disc art and that is uh, that's the last one that is my last of my favorite steelbooks for 2023 and like I said if, if this video gets demonetized it's because so there you have it in no particular order those are my favorite steelbooks of 2023 let me know down in the comments if you collect steelbooks and if you plan to continue in 2024 collecting uh, steelbooks in particular and where you're going to be picking them up Walmart orbit diabolic all the places uh, again I want to thank each and every one of you for taking time out to watch the videos I appreciate everyone especially during this busy season when you could be doing lots of other things and you choose to click on these videos it means a lot to me so um, that's gonna do it for me today um, if you enjoy content like this along with collection updates uh, top 10 lists movie recommendations maybe some reviews definitely a room tour coming this year um, feel free to uh, subscribe hit the bell notification so you know when I upload I'm gonna post my schedule for the week probably into next weekend um, over on the community tab so you know what I have planned and then we're rolling into 2024. Can you believe it? A lot of good things coming, a lot of new segments I have planned, so I'm really looking forward to moving the channel forward in 2024. And that's going to do it for me. I'm going to go upstairs, eat some homemade pizza, watch some movies, and call it a day. So for now, that's a wrap.